there. I'm going to show you how I create a story pin. This is from the desktop, um, just how quickly it is to do and how quickly you can see engagement from it. All right, so what you do is first you need to have access to it. It is as of, what are we in, July of 2020. It is still in beta mode. I will add a link um, somewhere where you can click if you do want to request access for it. But what you could do first is update your app just to make sure uh, on your phone because you may actually have it and you don't know. So if you do have it, go ahead and click Create Story Pin. And then what you can do is just click here and upload or drag and drop your slides. You can have up to 20 images or videos. What I did is I basically am repurposing some Instagram stories. So I'm going to go ahead and choose all of these. So kind of pre-plan this out. By using Instagram stories, you will probably have the most productivity because they're already done. And I'm sure you've at some point created some series of stories for your Instagram. So now I'm going to make sure they're in order because we want the cover page here. And you do have to add a title on the cover page. The rest of these, if you design them in Canva or Photoshop, you can leave the text as is, but the title page does need text. Um, so I'll just say something like, Okay, then you can change your text. There's a few different options. You can change the font size over on the side or you can change the alignment, the color, if you want it to be highlighted or not. Um, so we'll just go ahead and leave it like this. So then the next page, it's going to be oh and you can also click and reposition it as well so then the next one before you launch ask yourself these four questions i'm just going to leave that text as is you can change the layout if you wanted to have additional text below but you can also just delete that text box okay so then we're gonna make sure they are in order question one Question two, question three, question four. So those I've, re I've created already, so I'm gonna leave them in place as is. And on this final page, this is actually a video. I don't know if it'll show. So you can see, it's. I just added this little arrow thing because when you're looking at a video pin on mobile, which about 90% of users use Pinterest on their phone, your logo or your Pinterest profile image will be up here in this top right corner. So if they click on that, they can go to your profile page and view your other content or click your link or whatever it is. Just keep in mind that these slides, as people are swiping through, the slide itself is not clickable. There will not be a link attached to this. So you want to get them to click to your profile or click to follow you so they get more. So now I'm gonna add a um, a call to action here at the end, and then I'll show you the next steps. All right, so I've added a call to action. Another thing to note is you can only add one text box on here as of now. Um, so, you know, make it worth your while and add a nice call to action in there. Um, you can, you know, change the size of this and add more text to it, but I'm going to keep it really simple. And then once you do that, we're going to go to next. And then here is almost like a description. Uh, you can fill this in. If it's a DIY project or um, something with steps, you can list these out here. So just add what you can. You can add a call to action here if you'd like as well. So I'm going to fill this in quick. Okay, so I filled this in with a little bit more information. I had a bit.ly link here that I pulled off of um, the profile. And then I also added um, a link to the website where the full launch kit would be. So next, you want to add this to, or you want to create your title. Choose what board you'd like it to go to. And then this is the most important part here is adding tags. So this is how Pinterest will index it 
um, as far as where to show it in what feeds or which audience. So think about the tags or the categories and things you, you know, provide content for in your business on Pinterest. Um, so it might be, let's see. All right, so I've added in 10 tags, which is the maximum there. And then I'll go ahead and hit publish. All right, and then you could see, this is how it will look on a desktop. And then each step and then the final. Of course, on mobile, you'll see this logo here. So that'll make more sense. <laughs> And then let's go ahead and refresh this and we'll see if we've got any results yet. So within that like five seconds, we already have 153 impressions and five close-ups. So it's really fun to watch this as the day goes on, how quickly you'll see results on this. So have fun, um, start creating story pins and watch your engagement and your, your followers just soar on Pinterest. Mm -hmm.